Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's Monday again. Wow. How do these things keep happening? Time. Whew. Time is a thing. Hey guys. What's up? Hope you had an excellent weekend. You know me. I'm Dan. Dan the man. And we're going to be doing more System Shock streaming today. Um, today is mainly going to be... Um, some item placement, but we're getting to the point now where we need to check the levels to make sure that everything is functioning correctly. Um, so I'm joined by Carly today. It me. It you. How you doing? Pretty good. Um, I'm just chilling. Just oh, chilling. Oh, so just gave us five waving girls of a cheer. Ooh, five. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you very much. So yeah, um, let's crack on with things pretty much straight away. Um, so I've gone back to the medical level uh, for now, so I can get things tested. I've been through this level already, um, but I just need to double check some things. I've made some changes to the uh, to the level a little bit. Um, I'll see if I can also demonstrate um, some of the uh, level streaming that we'll be doing. It doesn't quite work yet, but it'll give you an idea of what happens. So, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Um, there may be a Steve later. There may be a Justin later. Um, I did say that he could oh, join really? in. Yeah, he said, um, could I join in? I said, yeah, it's free to, you're free to come oh, along and course. leave um, however you please. So, yeah. If you guys did anything interesting over the weekend, do share, do let us know what you were up to. Um, my weekend consisted of building a brand new computer box. So that was a lot of fun. Two days of <laughs> not many tears, <laughs> if I'm honest. But um, yeah, I built one super cool AMD machine because we need more AMD machines around the place for testing and that kind of stuff. So um, that's what I was up to pretty much all weekend. So. Uh, yeah, how about you, Callie? Um, I'm just reading chat ah. right now because a lot just happened. Mm. And someone said, speaking of medical level, hope you're feeling better, Carly. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, and yeah, I'm better. I'm like 99.9% .9 better. <laughs> I felt bad being sick and not around. Let us know, yes. Yeah. There was a lot of emotes happening in chat, and I was like, wait, what happened? <laughs> but also, I'm covered in bug bites. Yeah, I am as well. Um, well, not so much, but I found that I've been bitten a fair few times. I'm not sure. I don't know how it's happened. Yeah. It's, it's weird. You don't feel them bite, but you note it then a day later, don't you? Yeah. It's, ugh, it's awful. Uh, we also have some new items to put down. Um, a lot of new items have been going in. Um, so, got some human bones. Let's plop those in. Ah, uh, you spooked. It's nearly Halloween. You guys should be spooked. Spooky. <laughs> uh, haven't actually messed around with these. Oh, is that a is that a hip bone? I think. Might be a hip bone. Oh no, there's a skull uh, there. No. no. <laughs> there's a skull there and yeah. Okay, well, we'll just leave those lying around the place for now. Let the bones be bones. Mm-hmm. Dem bones, dem bones, sir. Um So yeah, I'm gonna um you'll find me sort of getting um sort of inside uh sort of sorry. I'll be constantly going in and out of the game just to test things. Um, just make sure everything works. So, uh, oh yeah, we've got more bones here. Let's pop some more bones down there. Mm -hmm. And, um,. Yeah, like I say, w this level shouldn't take too long. Um, I'm going to move on to um, the research level 
uh, in a while. It's being worked on at the moment, um, but that should change. So uh, you guys should be able to see that. Yep. I'll just move it down a bit. Okay. So how I usually test these things. So this is just an example, but this door, medical comp computer cyberspace lock. So we've got that in. We don't have cyberspace in the game yet, but we do have our temporary cyber terminal. Just click that, and it's been activated. So everything that um, was in that cyberspace terminal, I've now picked up. Uh, in also including activating any switches. So now that door will open, and I can get to its lovely contents, being a mag pulse rifle and some goodies. So. medical level. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but uh, yeah, it's looking looking really cool. While you do this, I gotta take care of my Tamagotchis now. Oh. I got two. I got, a, I got another of the new generation to pair with the other one. <laughs> have you killed it yet? Oh no. I, I haven't killed any of them. Oh, I thought that's what you were wanting to do. No, no. Keep, uh, originally, for the first generation of the other one, I wanted to keep it as near to death as possible. Ah, okay. But not <coughs> So right. I could get a special form. <laughs> okay. Here's a question. Speaking of cyberspace, is the team planning on expanding cyberspace for the remake? If there's time, of course. Um, not for the alpha. Um, we have a few ideas um, knocking around but nothing that can be shared I'm afraid because we gotta keep we gotta keep some secrets okay more bones there these are all just Temporary placements. Oh no, there's already a. Already that there, never mind. <clears throat> uh, this should work. Oh yes, uh, we got the cameras hooked up. Uh, you might remember that I showed them off. Uh, oh, last yeah. stream, but they weren't working. Uh, they're working now, and they look really, really nice. All thanks to uh, our, my, our fellow Brit, uh, Chris. Um, he's been working his magic over the last week or so to get that working, so I might as well show him off. So, yeah. Oh my god, he's, he's, he's looking at me. Oh jeez. I like the way they move. Hmm. Like it's kind of cute. <laughs> kind of adorable. Kind of creepy. Yeah. Got some bones down there. Okay. The only, uh, so I ran through this level before. We don't have um, radiation or biocontamination in the game yet. Um, but, um, oh yeah, we've got corpses in now. Temporary uh, things, but. Uh, the only issue I had was just certain doors weren't opening. that or that uh, I may have described but yeah all this text you can't see in the game just due to a little flag that you set on the text saying don't show this in the game so it doesn't um, I'm just trying to think now as I go around this area Checking for things. What's the level on this door? 
Required security level 1, must be 1%. Yeah, that works. That should be fine. Uh, we got. Gra I don't know if you guys have seen this, but we have uh, grav lifts working. Floaty. I wish there wasn't such a delay from mm. what I'm seeing for versus us talking. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys really like the progress that we've been making. Um, a lot has happened over the space of... How long has it been now? Five months? Um, I think about... Well, five months since we announced we were back from the hiatus, I believe. Hmm. Ah, okay, I need to fix that door. Because that door doesn't open for some reason. Um, storage room door. Why don't you open? Maybe this problem will be solved by just deleting you. I'll find its... Uh, Counterpart. Interactable capsule door. That's the right one. If this doesn't work, I'll have to... Hmm. hmm. Okay, something else might need to be set on that door. I will need to check that. Interact capsule door three. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I was using the wrong thing. There we go. So we have an interactable but we have to have an interact in the level itself. So that will work now. Uh, just solve that bit of clipping there. There we go. Cool, I'm happy with that. That really should be a lever, but at this point, I'm not that concerned about it. That lever definitely activates that force bridge I checked earlier. Um... I already answered this in chat, but um, Brock, the wicked, was asking, has the hacker been modeled yet? And I said, not yet. Nope, not yet. Yeah, the only uh, things I need to bring apart, these doors uh, don't open at all. Um, I don't know. Could I hook that up myself? Let me see. Uh, so, one sec while I go looking for something. Okay. So that is just interact switch. Okay. Stick one there. Target interactable. So that is. Interact energy great door. Energy. Hmm, did that not work? 
Here's a question. Will you be able to shoot through those bars and use your long hacker arms to pick up items on the other side? <laughs> um, yes, I think because the doors will be... Um, the way the doors are shaped, I think they should allow for shooting through them. That that doesn't if if it if it isn't something you can shoot through when it clearly is, that's quite immersion breaking really. So we uh want to try and avoid those. I don't think I can set up energy great door. Yeah, that's not working. I'm guessing that those doors just don't have a the correct settings yet. Um, they'll most likely be removed. Um, but let's carry on. Excuse all my notes. Uh, I know that button works. Tested it earlier. Um, oh, this is good. I'll show you this. So, we don't have any weapons in the game yet. Um, so you may be wondering, how do you destroy these um, Boba Fett looking things? The answer is... Uh, you just walk into them. What? It looks funny. <laughs> and the code stopped on three. Okay. The hacker's body's just that strong. Mm-hmm. He he's been to the gym a bit. He's been. He got swole. <laughs> he's been drinking the grenade um, energy drinks. Actually, that reminds me. Oh, no, never mind. Um. Uh, okay. That does open. I don't know if we have actual skeleton models. Skeleton. Not skeleton in the sense of was a dead body, now skeleton. Skeleton. Uh, I will just put bones down for now. I have Mr. Bones. Mm hmm. Well, I was about to say, do you know, do you know about that Sega Saturn game as well? What? There's a Is Sega Saturn. Mr. Bones. Yeah, there's a Sega Saturn game called Mr. Bones. I thought you might have heard of that if you said that name. It just made me think of it. That's all. I always think of Mr. Bones' Wild Ride. <laughs> I guess, like. My first thought, because <laughs> I don't know the game you're talking about, but I just think of Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> mm. Oh, Mr. Oh, wow. Where to begin? Uh, Mr. Bones is a very um, interesting game on the Sega Saturn. Like, um, no, no one level is the same. Um, one level can be a like a platformer, the next level would be a rhythm style mini game. The next level could be um anything really. It's kinda of, kind of a crazy game. One that people don't really know much about. And it's a shame because it's quite good. Alright, so I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a demonstration on how the level streamer works. Um or how it will work, I should say. Um, it's got a bit of a bug at the moment that uh, is going to be solved.
but um, right now. So we've got our nice elevator in here. Um, trapped on my music, not playing yet. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's a. Um, this level, uh, sorry, this elevator can only go to research. So um, press research and it should take you to um, research. Oh, it did. Ah, that actually worked. Okay. <laughs> so, wow, okay, that was the first. Um, so, yeah, that uh, reactor, uh, sorry, the uh, research level block I was working on, it just took me right there with no loading screen. Um, which was insanely cool. I tried that before um, the stream and I fell out the world, but that time it worked, so that's, that's really, really cool. So, yeah. And just to show you, there was nothing above that level. Oh, well, what's that? Oh, okay. Ah, I found something. <laughs> I'm revealing all the magic here. I'm, I'm spoiling everything. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, kudos to you, Matt. That worked really well. Um. Okay, I think I'm done here. Being called out for secrets. Um, yeah. Well. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna save secrets, that. I'm sorry. No fun. I said secret secrets are no fun. Hmm. Secret secrets hurt someone. Hmm. So uh, I'm not gonna build the lighting in this map because it will take. 10 minutes and uh, I don't want to be sitting around doing nothing so save that level and we'll move on to research oh wait I shouldn't move on to research because I need to update my uh, SVN first Somebody was working on research labs before I started the stream, so <clears throat> they're not working on it now, so I'm free to work on this. Ah, uh, oh shoot, I just had a thought this might affect the stream a little bit. <laughs> Sorry guys. Oh. Uh, oh farts, what's gone wrong now? Uh do 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 can't move. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. One sec. Okay. One moment. If anybody, yeah, just as a side note, if anybody knows where that background is from, I salute you, because that is so obscure. Um, Tala says that temp lift panel looks weird. Aren't most lifts supposed to lead everywhere, but should and block some shafts? Um, temp lift panel looking weird. Yeah, the shaft, some shafts can be inaccessible. Um we will um, we d we uh, we will sort it all out okay that's Wolfenbach says am I allowed to say where that's from um oh Wolfenbach will know yeah um yeah go on then do do okay that's fine Yep, 
Yep, you got it. It's kind of an alternate World War Two, uh, not World War Two, uh, an alternate um, history timeline where they have dragons used as the aerial uh, division of the Napoleonic Wars. It's great. Um. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, just save that level. So now we can do what we were going to do. We're um, getting very close now to the release date of this thing, and it's kind of exciting, kind of terrifying at the same time. Um, but, uh, well, got to expect these things. Huh, that's not right. There we go, that looks better. Hmm. Oh, that might be three actually. Yeah, there we go. Pan those. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'll fiddle with all this stuff later. This isn't uh, what I'm here to do at the moment. So, yeah, when we start this level off, yes, tricky it is. Play. So, okay, when we start off, um, I really should. Yeah. Playing along in the game as well. Don't nope, come the wrong way. Jackie's wondering where you found it, the wallpaper. Oh, uh, it was on um, DeviantArt, I think. Sorry. <laughs> I've, no, I sh shouldn't take things from DeviantArt just like that, but yeah, I, f I just found it on DeviantArt. Um... So when we start here, yeah, can't open those doors yet. Can't open that yet. Uh, Tuggle says, how many times did DeviantArt break your heart over Spyro fan art? 
Uh, I do not look for Spyro fan art on DeviantArt. I just don't. I think they mean like how often like has fake fan art maybe seemed like real art and then broken your heart. Oh, um, I don't think that has happened to me at all. Um, yeah, that's, sorry, that's not happened to me at all. Um, I was just thinking about this, and I'm pretty sure this is still the case if it hasn't been fixed. But technically, DeviantArt has owns all right to art posted on there, and they can sell your art and not give you anything for it. Yeah. Wow. Well, I think I... someone joined us. <gasps> Who Ooh. could it be? Oh my Who God! Could it be? Santa. Hi. You've been a very bad. No. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> cool. How's it going? The morality of deviant art just came up. <laughs> oh boy, is that the current topic? Mm-hmm. I just morality. Man, I I've been I've been showing off some things. I showed off the uh, level streaming working, uh, which Ooh. is really really cool. And I just found. Um, monitor the, yeah the working camera so that isn't a still picture I don't know if you can see that but there are blinky lights going on that is an actual camera feed through to Wow so I am I'm noticing impressed. yeah it's really really cool I am noticing though that the frame rate is a bit meh, but we'll work it out Okay, that all works. Steve, I got another Tamagotchi this week. Another one? Mm -hmm. Got the special 20th anniversary edition um, of the Tamagotchi mix that came out this like at the beginning of this year. And I got it so I could connect it with my current one. And it has special forms. Wow. And a new um, Tamagotchi release should be happening in a few months. I don't know if I can handle that much responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, here I am, like, at my desk at home alone all day. And I have a cat, but sometimes you got to have something else, too. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> uh... My cat does not like the sound of the Tamagotchi, though, so I had to turn off the volume. It was making him angry. Cat's getting angry at Tamagotchis. Well, Tamagotchis every time angry. he hears a particular sound that it makes, he runs, like, over and starts looking, and then he hops on my lap and gets really grumpy, and then he'll start relaxing. Hmm. And then if he hears it again he'll like freak out and then sometimes like I sleep with my Tamagotchis like on my um table next to me in bed mm. and I wake up sometimes with my cat trying to steal them <laughs> <laughs> they have lanyards on them so I can hold them easily and then he just grabs them by the lanyard and runs cats are strange they're funny they're devious they're the best we almost got a kitten um, the other day, because Roll had um, messaged me saying he found a kitten he wants that his coworker had, but then they changed their mind and didn't give it to us. Oh. It had half black face, half an orange face, and its nose was white. Oh, wow. That is. That's cool. 
It was I, very, but, very cute. But now I'm, I'm kind of hungry for Jaffa cakes. <laughs> of course you would be. Mm. You're a cat description, you get hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate Jaffa cakes, I get hungry. Okay, so... That works fine for some reason. I don't know why. These doors are all now upside down. Ah, that'll be fixed. Rob's building new doors. Um, so... Looking really cool. Did... You two or anybody on the stream see the uh, the new trailer for the Bumblebee movie, the Transformers spinoff? I saw your tweet. Yeah. Oh, Bumblebee. Saw my tweet. Yeah. Didn't you tweet something with about it? Um. Well, they have kind of revisited the original character designs. Um. So, like, uh, Optimus Prime obviously makes a cameo, and so does uh, Soundwave and Ravage. And it looks like there's, I mean, there's a scene where uh, Soundwave pops open his chest and Ravage transforms and comes out. And that's, like, just like the original, you know, the original toy, the original cartoon. And so I'm just very excited that they've done that this time instead of just, you know, made stuff up like they did with the Michael Bay movies. And uh, yeah, uh, tug -a -law, it, may as, it might as well be a full reboot. I'm not really sure. Um, but it looks like it's kind of starting the exact same way. Like Bumblebee is this uh, old Volkswagen Beetle and he's found by some naive, you know, young girl. And she finds out she, he's a transformer and, you know, the adventure ensues. It looks like... Uh, probably a soft reboot. Reboot, reboot. But uh, it's cool because I mean they're again they're they're looks like they're reusing a lot of the original character designs, which is what I'm really happy about. I think the movie is going to be terrible, obviously. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> but, no, uh. no, it's going to be a train wreck. But uh, but I'm just excited to see the original designs um speak but by the way i'm i was surprised today uh i got a late birthday present from alex she is taking me to go see uh transformers the movie the 1986 version in theaters that was your dream wasn't it your it was <laughs> on the 27th uh so this thursday i'm gonna be uh seeing it on on the big screen which is gonna be very very exciting nice very good. Wolfenbach wants me to take him with me. <laughs> I don't think that's possible, but they, I mean, it's supposed to be like a worldwide thing, I, I think. So it could be playing in a theater near you. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like Starscream has his original colors. Um, yeah, I, I think... I kind of went on a hiatus with the uh, Transformers stuff for a long time, but they've been releasing some really great figures in the Masterpiece line, and I picked up a couple, and I got sucked back in. Hmm. Here's the uh, the trailer. In case anyone wants to have a discussion. Um. You don't have to, don't watch it now, but <laughs> now would be like a stream derail. If <laughs> well, yeah. that, that and we start sending off copyright alarms left to right and center. So that's true. Or Paramount goes, "Hey, thanks for the exposure. Here's some free toys," and I go, "Why? Thank you." <laughs> Here are some vintage old 1986 Transformer toys, complete in box. I would I would love that. Mm. Please send them over here, my way. Oh, yeah, look, uh, the military's chasing Bumblebee. Yeah, it looks like a, almost a reboot of the of the first one. Oh, eh, well. Oh, cool. Oh, neat. Wait. Oh, they're triple changers? 
<gasps> oh. That's You're neat. Excited. Oh, Cybertron. Looks like there takes place in San Francisco. Maybe they'll blow up my old apartment complex. <laughs> <clears throat> All I know is when they change into whatever they're supposed to transform into, Ooh. it makes the same sound as uh, when you're brushing your teeth. Oh my goodness! Okay. So there's scenes where this takes place on Cybertron. Okay, there's Shockwave. That's awesome. I see Starscream, Skywarp. Uh, there's like a green uh, jet which they call a seeker that could be acid spray but he's kind of like a fan character almost cool ooh okay i ooh ooh <laughs> i'm watching it without sound on but <sighs> oh man it just occurred to me you guys if you look in the bottom left you can see the mini map and how it works Oh, look at that. Man, there's oh. stuff in this I haven't even seen yet. I didn't even notice. Yeah, as you walk around, you see the world. Um, and it's all... Matt showed me how it works. It's very, very clever. Um, yeah, we build a map based on this. Right, that door should open. Okay. Um... That's something that's strange. Okay, and there's the comic relief at the end. Don't you think that... Uh, I'm going to bring this right back into the Transformers discussion. Do you <laughs> think that uh, like any human that's involved in like a... Even, you know, on the side of a giant robot fight would just get like pummeled into ground beef almost instantly? Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Highly likely. Yeah, or like, uh, there's this really funny uh, little clip in like one of the last episodes of the Jay and Silent Bob uh, Clerks cartoon series that came out. Oh, I've seen a little bit of it. Where there's somebody inside of a car and it transforms, and like, as it's transforming, it gets stuck because there's like a human inside, and then it just keeps going, and it goes, and like all this blood ah. shoots out the windows. <laughs> oh. Realistic. Yeah. Because, you know, clearly they weren't thinking that there'd be a passenger in that car. Hmm. Oh, man. Well, I bet the uh, official Transformers forums are a buzz. That was a uh, no pun intended. <laughs> oh, I see now. Doi. No legal puns. Beep boop. <laughs> Beep boop. <laughs> Ooh, man, I love Shockwave. He's one of my favorites. He's He looks like he's in the movie. Oh, and they got, like, all the colors are right for the most part. <laughs> okay, the door was the wrong way. <clears throat> That's funny. Wow, looks like somebody screen capped, like, every three seconds of this trailer and the screenshots are on... Uh, are uploaded here. Wow. This looks cool. Oh, man. But how do I download? I want to share with the chat the site that people track their Tamagotchi uh, generation genetics because it's really entertaining to look at. Uh, it's going to be in chat. Six. Ooh, that's not a group one access card. That is wrong. Need to change that. I will take a picture of that area so I do not forget. like that, but never mind. Uh, 
Um, uh, well, not much happens on the research lab. Um, it's a big level, but not much happens in it. It's mainly just a kind of explorer area, so for the most part, this area seems to be working properly. There just needs to be a setup for the um, level change. When is this uh, the build that you're playing now? When are we expecting that to go up on our uh, on Steam? Uh, the private steam there is a build up there I put uh, build 112 up there um, on Sunday evening uh, this is build 121 I think uh, I can put that on after the stream has ended we've changed the start map now so it's now uh, citadel station dot map instead of medical so um that will mean that the um, level change stuff works. So, uh, yeah. Um, fire. Nope. So Kane wants to know how long does it take to build, uh, upload builds to Steam? Um, well, it depends <laughs> on... I don't know if I can discuss this without breaking Valve's NDA. Uh, well, you could just give a rough time estimate. That'll work. Uh, that's I true. mean, dependent, dependent on size, of course, but... Uh... Yeah, it uh, depends on how... So if... If files have already been found, it won't re-upload them. It kind of... it's very clever. It just works everything out and kind of minimizes all the stuff that you need to down uh, to upload um, a build. So it's... Uh, if you... like, if you initially put something up, obviously you've got to upload the whole thing, but if you just do small changes, then it will just upload those changes. And it does it all for you automatically. Quite clever. Dem bones, dem bones. Speaking of bones, mm -hmm. let's talk Halloween. Oh yeah. Because that's fast approaching. It is. I have multiple uh, outfits planned for any kind of potential outing. Ooh. And what are those? Can you share them? Or are you, is it a surprise? Oh. Well, um, I'll definitely be taking pictures of them if I do wear them, but since most of the things I end up doing are with my fashion group and stuff, um, it's all kind of based around the dresses that I have and things. So I have a creepy nurse outfit. <laughs> um, it's like a long sleeve, long black dress and like apron, like a very old school nurse. And I'm gonna get like, um, like bandages and like fake blood and an eye patch or something. Hmm. And then I have a devil outfit because I have this really like cute devil headdress bonnet thing. That's really cool. Um, I have a witch outfit. I have cat ears. I have so much, so many things. Do you have I like a treasure chest of of uh, Halloween outfit? bits and stuff i wish i did i used to but i don't have that kind of space right now so it's all kind of like shoved in my closet my uh parents uh when i was growing up they had this old like steam liner trunk up in the attic yeah. full of like halloween stuff like capes and horns and teeth 
and you know masks and all kinds of stuff like uh, makeup and that was like one of the things that we brought down every year for halloween but uh sometimes when i was younger uh they would just bring that out and like me and my friends we'd all just like dress up and play out in the yard and stuff like in the middle of the summer it was always really I fun i would do the same i had a not a fancy case like you uh because your sounds cool we just had giant plastic tubs and we had lots of Halloween stuff, like different costumes we have either purchased or sewn or random things. My old stepfather had a speed racer costume from like the 60s that I would play with sometimes. Did, was it like a really thin plastic mask or something like that? No, it was like... Uh, his outfit and a helmet and everything like that. Because he wore a helmet. That's really cool. Yeah, I my parents like well, they went like all out for Halloween every year. We would do the um, when the pumpkin, the master carving pumpkin kits started coming out. Mm -hmm. um, they would get those and then they'd like make photocopies so that we could do the same pumpkins every year. Oh. And then uh, my dad would do like six six of the pumpkins, and then he would like all impale them on this big stake in our yard and make like a Ooh. pumpkin totem pole. That sounds cool. And we had like the crypt keeper in our front door, and and uh, it was always so much fun because we lived in this uh, this neighborhood right like aside this lake. And there was all this like protected wetland around us, um, and the community would do this like haunted hayride every year. Um, that would pick kids up at the fire station, which was across the street, and they would do like bobbing for apples, and they would do like all that old school stuff. That sounds um, so cool and fun. And so like all these kids, like hundreds and hundreds of kids, would like kind of congregate at the fire station across the street. So we'd get like. You know, we'd have to go through 20 bags of candy because uh, we were right there in the, the epicenter of Halloween. And then um, that's they, so cool. it was so much fun every year. And they would set up this, um, like I said, the haunted hayride where they would have the firefighters out in the woods with like axes and chainsaws and stuff. And they'd come right up <laughs> to the right up to the horse drawn carriage and, you know, scare everybody to death. But uh yeah, good memories. <laughs> I want to do fun stuff for the Halloween season, but like living where I live, like everything's always so crowded. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, did the stream drop? I feel like it might have. I'm going to refresh. Uh, hello? Did, did you drop? No. I don't think so. Oh, now it's going. It might just be me. I don't know. It uh, dropped for me, too. Ooh. I get that it's not good for me. Uh, Sorry about that. No, it's don't okay. Know. It looks like it's having a little bit of a hiccup. Don't I'm asking cause that. chat. No one commented, in it? commented on it oh yeah i guess they did yeah okay i'm asking them yeah probably not the best idea to build the lighting whoopsie daisy i might be back up hmm it's really thinking Yeah, it's dead for me. Oh god, really? <laughs> oh, someone says it's back, but it's dead for me. I'll refresh again. Oh, it's back for me. Oh good. Yeah, sorry about that. Mental note, do not build but the lighting again. But the delay again. is almost two minutes for me. I'm way behind of whatever you're doing.
Well, might as well carry on. Oh, okay. It might be like more of like I'm seeing five minutes behind or almost like five. two to three. Oh my god. Because I'm hearing conversation from a while ago. Wow. I'm gonna refresh uh, again. I was gonna say, should I restart it or what? Let me see. Wolfenbach says it works fine, but I mean more in the sense that the stream delay versus me talking to Daniel here was so great. But uh. yeah, it's a couple minutes behind. Okay. Hey, uh, Carly, I replied to, um, we got an email from, uh, -huh. uh, that guy named Josh who worked at Legend Entertainment back in the day through Twitter. Oh, through Twitter. I was like, through what? Yeah. I, uh, um, I thought you said email. I, I wrote him an email just now. So, oh. so don't worry about that when you come okay. across it. Oh yeah, he tweeted at us and I just saw that there was a message request. Okay. Um, I just got uh, a couple things in the mail. Ooh. Yeah, it's a good mail day. The first thing I got was the Vestron video uh, Blu-ray re-release of Dagon. Oh. Um, which was a... It's a movie that was directed by Stuart Gordon, and it's more or less based on The Shadow Over Innsmouth, which is uh, one of H.P. Lovecraft's most well-known stories. Right. And uh, I was introduced to this movie years and years and years ago, probably when it first came out. Um, God, when was 2001? And this movie is so gross, <laughs> so disturbing, um, but it's perfect. Like it's it's uh, there's a little bit of cheese, but um, in terms of it just being a really good horror movie, like if you liked, um, uh. Beyond the Mouth of Madness with Sam Neill, uh, directed by uh, John Carpenter, or um, Reanimator, uh, or uh, From Beyond, then you would love this movie. Um, I highly recommend it. And it just came out on Blu-ray uh, with all kinds of new features that I can't wait to see. Um, but I'm I'm planning to do a to create a list of uh, 31 horror movies to watch every night during the month of October. Oh wow! Wow! Nice. I, uh, good luck. Yeah, it's going to be tough, uh, but this will <laughs> definitely be on there. But uh, if you follow me on Twitter, I'll I'll put the list out on there, or I'll just post it to the Discord. But uh, um, I yeah, I totally recommend this one. Uh, the other thing that I got is um, pretty excited about is this little sketchbook uh, by Steve Purcell, who is the creator of Salmon Max. Oh, yeah. And it's called The Effigy Mound. And it came out 2007, which was right around the height of the Telltale uh, Salmon Max games. And uh, all of these books, there was another book uh, that he released too called The Age of s and <laughs> wow. which is great. Um, and both of those books sold out really, really quickly and like they've been very hard to find on like the resale market. Uh, but this one popped up on Amazon for like $12 used. Um, so I snagged it and it just got here today. And it's, uh, it's really great. There's tons of um, Sam and Max stuff that I've never seen before in here. Such as? Oh, well, you'd have to see it. I oh. can't really describe it. Okay. 
Um, for those who don't know and are fans of Sam and Max, there's like a whole comic book series that came out across like at least four different publishers of comics. Um, there's a trade paperback uh, that came out, which is really great, um, called Surfing the Highway. Um, and that collects a lot of that stuff as well as the comics that used to be released in the adventurer which was a catalog slash like uh fanzine or not a fanzine but like official magazine that would come in the boxes of lucas arts games and there would always be like a salmon max uh colored comic book in there or a comic like a two-page spread and right. uh they were always really funny. Sometimes they would be themed around the particular game that they came with. So like um, the one that came with Dark Forces, there was like Sam and Max infiltrate the Death Star and they, hmm. you know, clumsily end up blowing up the place. Um, <laughs> there's other ones where they are impersonating Indiana Jones, stuff like that. It was, it was really fun. Yeah, I need to check that out. I haven't... You're going to hate me for this. I don't really know much about Sam and Max. Um, I need to check I could never hate out. you, Daniel. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Um, yeah, I, um, I need to check out more of those games. I haven't even played like the original ones, like the Freelance Police or anything. I know I should. Yeah, the first one was called uh, Sam and Max Hit the Road. Right. And I think you can get it on GOG.com, but it is n not available on Steam, to my knowledge. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Well. I don't know. They should really try. They they should really get somebody to put those on Steam. Yeah, I know, right? Maybe somebody should look into that. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got a pretty, pretty uh nice relationship with Steve Purcell, uh, because I was trying to help him out with that when uh, Lucas Arts was acquired by Disney. Yeah. Um, and uh, he's just a really friendly guy. That's good too. But uh, but I would love to if we could get uh, hit the road on Steam. I'd be I'd be really happy. Um, but yeah, I I played the Telltale ones too up to a point. There was a lot of oh. episodes. Uh, I didn't play them all. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Um. But uh, I enjoyed them, and I thought the voice acting was really great. And there was also a whole uh, animated series on Fox, too. Oh, all right. I didn't know that. Which was kind of interesting, yeah. Um, I remember I picked that up at the Telltale booth at Comic-Con back in 2008, I think, as well as some Ooh. Sam and Max prints. Nice. Yeah. I wish that I had just, like... You know that feeling when you find something that you really like and there's like there's a lot of like there's posters or there's comics or there's stickers or there's 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 just stuff that you can get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the moment. And then yeah. you don't get it and then like years later it's like there's nowhere to get it like it's all sold out or it's never going to be made again and you're like oh, why didn't I just <laughs> yeah why, why didn't, didn't I, I just get it? I hate that feeling. Yep. know that all too well yes yeah, sir Kane there was a salmon max tf2 hat I think you got it if you um, got the telltale poker game a night in the inventory that's it yeah uh, I don't think it was that one actually I think it was if you own the first episode of the new point and click games that they did. I think it's mm. if if you own that, then you got the hat. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Do you remember when uh, they released the game on Mac and you would get they would get the earbuds? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And all it did was motivate me to to target them like you filthy Mac user. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh my god. It was that was around the time you sent me a Mac for work. So thanks for that. Oh yeah, oh yeah you're welcome. <laughs> Oh, speaking of which, I saw that you said that uh, you could probably use a new one, so we could talk about that soon, too. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, that is an AM Hornet clip. Oh, man. <clears throat> Uh, you could also get a, um, uh, see, do you know, uh, Tux the Penguin? Yeah, is that from, uh, it's like Linux, right? Yeah, you could get a Tux, um, item for, uh, a TF2 item if you played the game on Linux within, I think, the first week of them putting the game on Linux. I had so many people messaging me, Dan, how do I... how, how do I do Linux? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. That, that was fun. I, uh, got a few quid off of that as well. Selling services. Few quid. Yep. Yeah, we um we actually had a whole bunch of TF2 items made uh for System Shock. Um and they're really good. Oh my god, they're awesome. And for oh, whatever reason yeah. we couldn't we couldn't convince uh Valve to release it for some stupid reason. But they're so cool. Um I remember them. Yeah. Uh, so, you know what? I should bring that up again because the guy who did that, um, he's become very prominent in that community and he's got like direct access to that team. Ah. So I'm pretty sure like it might be a good opportunity for us to bring that up. Maybe if we do a uh, wink wink source port of System Shock 2, we can make that a bonus. <laughs> Which, w wink wink nudge nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, I don't. I do not know how this area got missed from the uh, item placement stuff, but uh, it's all been sorted now, so. Oh, good. <sighs> if I remember rightly, this just leads down to beta maintenance access. Yeah. Just another way around. And if I didn't know that by now, there'd be something wrong with me because I had to build this level. Yeah, there isn't much here either. Whoa, there's somebody on uh, Twitter, Andrew Langley. So this is a game programmer, and he posted this thing. It just says, "My God, we got to touch the original Monkey Island 2 artwork." Oh. And it says, "Telltale Memories." Hashtag Telltale Memories. Oh right, yeah. And uh, there's some pictures of the original 
hand drawn backgrounds and stuff. Man, that's so cool. This is, uh, I remember having these same kind of emotions when uh, LucasArts went out of business. It's like, I feel like adventure games always have a tough time. Yeah, they did. Still do, I think. Maybe. Yeah. I'm kind of guilty of that, though. I uh, bought Broken Age a while ago. Haven't played it yet. I uh, I had a really good time with um, the first installment. I guess is what you would call it. Mm. Um. Oh, they're doing another one. Well. Uh, what they did is they broke it up into two pieces so that you could play the first half and then they developed the second half. Oh, okay. Um, they're both out now. Um, but yeah, I, I actually never got around to playing the second one and I was like a super backer on that project. It was like the first Kickstarter thing I ever backed. Yeah. I think, I think that's the same for me as well. Man, it's so crazy like uh, you just start going down a rabbit hole I think that's like the best way to describe my job is this never ending rabbit hole where you start talking about something and you look it up on the internet you go to the Wikipedia page you look at some old fan sites you mm. go to the waybackmachine.com you look at the <laughs> stuff that's archived from 10 years ago you start looking up the people who made the game on LinkedIn. You start sending requests. You start talking about the game. And then, uh, you know, and, and it's just constant. I just feel like it's, you're, I'm always, I'm always working um, in some capacity or another, whether the intention is to like go and find and rescue one of these games or just to know more about it or to have a greater appreciation for it. And I think, you know, um, I think a lot of people, a lot of fans of these games can relate to it. Or, or at least to that, uh, you know, that, that, that behavior around it is just wanting to know more about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I'm kind of guilty of doing that as well. I, I've looked... I looked at the old L Glass website. Uh, it's on Wayback Machine. Um, yeah. And uh, some old irrational game stuff as well, just to see what it was like. You're being Did called you... a stalker. Me? <laughs> oh. Get out of here, stalker. <laughs> oh, God. Stalker, yeah. I'm so looking forward to Stalker 2 when that happens. Stalker if it Stalker. happens. It's confirmed. Did it? Did it get confirmed? Yeah. Um, they announced it. Oh, God, it was a while ago. Well, but, uh, with, it's, it's GSC when, Game World. They're doing Stalker 2. It's, uh, it's an actual official 100% thing. I thought that they had announced it but they didn't actually have anything to back it up and they were just hoping to get a publisher interested in it oh i have no idea about that all i know is I they announced that, it i thought that was the uh the controversy about that i have no idea man i wish they'd just get on and make the damn game already you know there there's been so many so much 
controversy around that. Like, all the teams that break off and then do their own projects and they go, oh, it's kind of like Stalker, but it isn't. And there's always there oh. seems to be some controversy around that, doesn't there? I don't know if you've been keeping up with that stuff, but there was a like a Kickstarter at one point. Um, and people were like, they pit they pitched the game as um, <clears throat> oh God, I can't remember, but um, yeah, people just kind of called shenanigans on them, saying you aren't the guys that did Stalker or something like that. And it was it was interesting to watch. Well, the right situation behind Stalker is like was a huge mess uh, because it had multiple publishers across different regions and yeah. when THQ went out of business they were like well we own the distribution rights in America and we're going to sell them you know, however we want or whatever and um, yeah it just got, it got very complicated are you going to replace some of those doors you're looking at? Because I know we've got the replacements don't we? Uh which doors? Oh, the bulkhead. Uh, like these doors, the ones with the like the rotating handle on them and stuff. Like, yeah. I, I mean, that. I guess you don't really need to right now, but. Now that's a good point. I should. Interact. Bulkhead. It just looks pretty. Mm, it does. Line it up um, good and nice. Has anyone in the chat played Thimbleweed Park yet? I want to. I got the um I got the big box. Yeah. Uh version of it. Uh at PAX. And um Ron Gilbert was there, and he signed it for me. Oh, nice. Oh. Which is cool. And I also brought him my copy of uh, Maniac Mansion, which he signed as well. That was cool. He's a, nice. he's a really nice guy. Yeah, He uh, he did an interview with us years and years and years ago. Uh, that's on our website, if anyone's interested. Uh, it's primarily about uh, humongous entertainment, but uh, it's, it's really uh, in-depth. It's a very... Large interview. Sir Kane and Wolfenbach have played. What did you guys think? I need to buy it and have time to play it. <laughs> Those are two big roadblocks. <laughs> <laughs> I will buy it eventually. I just, you know, I already have so many games. And I'm like, do I need to buy more games that I'm not going to play yet? Or should yeah. I finish my games and then buy more games? I wish I could do that. Wouldn't it be great if, uh, well, I don't know if this would be great. I, I've often thought, like, you know what? I'm going to start my own streaming thing, and I'm just going to start at the very top of my Steam library and be like, this whole stream is dedicated to just getting through my backlog. <laughs> right. I don't know what Friday. games are in here, but we're, we're doing Friday it. stream, do it. Start it. Play a game. Yeah, in like Have 200 years, I'll be done. I think that's like a good reason why games are, or the game industry is considered to be kind of recession proof, is because people will just buy them because uh, they don't take up any space anymore. And uh, if you do have the time or you're laid off of work or whatever and you got nothing else to do, you're, you're probably more than likely going to play games if you're not, you know, actively job hunting, right? Or you're gonna drink. <laughs> <laughs> both. Why not? Or, yeah, oh, both. Oh, oh boy. 
Yeah, the best of both worlds. Sam and Max. There's a uh, a company, like a small scale uh, action figure company making um, Sam and Max action figures. Has that been around for a while? Because I feel like I've seen them. Um, I've only ever seen just the one it, like teaser image that they released and it was like a couple months ago. Um, but, uh, like I said, I was just in contact with Steve Purcell and he, I said, Hey, I'm really looking forward to these action figures. And he's like, Oh yeah, these guys are doing a, a really great job. So that was a good sign. That, uh, that they're working with him and they're making sure that it's all, uh, you know, meeting the standards. Of the high, of the uh, the the IP and everything. I'm going to um, recommend to everybody if, because uh, we were talking about the sketchbooks and stuff. If if everybody, uh, if anyone's interested in this stuff, like art books, sketchbooks, um, really hard to find stuff at good prices. There's this amazing bookstore that I ordered some stuff at uh, recently. I'll post it in here, but it's. Uh, stuartngbooks.com um, right. there's some fantastic stuff in here um, I had actually ordered a copy of uh, the re-release of Surf in the Road Surf in the Highway and uh, it was signed and there was a sketch in there by Steve Purcell ooh which is nice. cool. Very nice. But uh, yeah, I'm sure like anybody that looks into this stuff and, and likes these kind of things, I, I guarantee that you'll find something cool. Hmm. I'm, I clicked on the link and I'm looking at stuff now. Oops, I just found something I want. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, they even have some like cool vinyl toys and stuff too. Ah, oh, Tales from the Crypt. Man, so cool. Did I say that I can't wait for Halloween already? Yeah, <laughs> we talked about Halloween. Have you seen that Mark, I can't pronounce that last name, I'm sorry, from Dire Stray is releasing a new al album? Uh, no, I didn't see that. Uh, three of my favorite bands just released new albums, uh, like pretty much all at the same time. Um, one of them was is more of a uh, like an EP. They're releasing uh, like chunks, like four song chunks at a time. 
Oh, which is cool, but the band's called Failure. Um, another one of my favorite bands uh, is Thrice, and they just released a new album uh, after a long break that they had taken, and uh, they're going to be on tour. I'm going to see them in November. Um, and then the other uh, group is uh, this guy named Venart. Um who is in ocean size. I gotta hop off just for a second, but I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Yeah, Steve, Steve loves ocean size. Apparently they're the, a British band, but I have never heard of them. Um, There's lots of British bands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um... I'm trying to think if I, even what I listen to has been putting out new stuff, but Mitski is the first one that comes to my head. Mitski. Yeah. Uh, anyone who notices on Discord, I hooked up my Spotify to my accounts so whenever I am listening to music on my computer, or at least on my work computer. Um, you can see what I'm listening to. Okay, I'm back. What did I miss? Oh. I said Mitski. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody clipped that. Uh, uh, but. Yes, Ocean Size. I love, I love that band. I think they're probably my all-time favorite. And I apologize I for still never having heard of them. Um. And they're an English band. Mm -hmm. They've never, like, toured anywhere else in the world but in England. Uh, well, in Germany and some of the other European countries, of course, but... Uh, but those don't count. Man, <laughs> they're so good. <laughs> You'd like them, Dan. They're not, like heavy metal but they do get pretty uh pretty rough and rowdy sometimes i, <laughs> I will see if i can find uh I'm, I'm sure someone has put a full album like rip on youtube so i'll see if i can find one. Oh yeah they're all on there okay so if you had to recommend one album i did some looking up of their albums apparently they have one called red red carpet or something i can't remember no. but what, that doesn't sound familiar. Which album? Well, you you'll probably say it now. Remember, but which album would you recommend they start off with? My favorite is "Everyone Into Position." Okay. I like that one. What A are lot. the what What are the albums? You you say all the, you say this one album name, and I'll go. That's the one I meant. Uh. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I thought you are you looking at Wikipedia right now. Well, there's one called I couldn't remember the name of it because the whole uh, cover is red, it doesn't have the name on it. But that's called Frames. Yes, that's it. That's the one. Uh, Frames is really good. Um, the first album is called Efflores. Uh Everyone in the position frames um and then there's uh, the last two albums are kind of weird uh one's called home and minor and then the last one's called self-preserved while the bodies float up Ugh, okay yeah wow <laughs> that is yeah it's wow. good though it's really good they get they get they uh they go through some like what I think I like the most about them is that each album is like they sound completely different than the one prior Mm. So, like, their first stuff is more, um, it's like progressive rock for the most part. 
Um, and then it just gets into like some very experimental, psychedelic space rock stuff. Uh, space rock. Rock in space. <laughs> We're chatting in chat about how we don't like the new Google Chrome and Gmail looks. It's very chunky. Oh, it's not so bad. I think it looks ugly. I don't like it. It's kind of macintosh -y. I really liked it, actually. I thought... Really? Yeah, I... It looks so bad on my phone, too. So they, they said opt-in. Oh, I don't know about the phone. But they said just opt-in to this app. I, and it's funny, about a week ago I was thinking, God, I hate this interface. I really don't like this I mean, like that's how interface. most interfaces are, and then you get used to it, and then they change it again. Mm, but I still didn't like it, and they said, oh, you can opt into this now. Would you like to opt in? And I went, yes. And I went, oh, it all looks all, it, it looks cleaner. It looks nicer, and it behaves differently in some aspects that are actually useful. So, I, I just, approve. I think it made Gmail look very, like... Uh, busy. Mm. Like, I don't know. I don't like the way Gmail looks like right now. Um, we worked, I won't name names, but we worked, huh? uh, <laughs> I am not going to name names, but we worked, uh, the some of the people that worked on our Kickstarter uh, work at Google now and are responsible for the new branding. Oh. So uh, if you got some oh. nasty things to say, I'll I'll be happy to pass it on. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that reaction was priceless. Uh -oh. I'm just gonna hum along to my music. <laughs> Do mm -hmm. do I should really yeah, I'm gonna change those doors as well. Generic door 16? Oh, yeah. That's fine. I can do that. Dan, I'm having this problem where I've already... I got, like, all the big box games that I pretty much want. Mm hmm Or, like, that I originally had. And now I like want duplicates, and that is bad. <laughs> that is bad. Like something must be done. Mm-hmm. Uh... Let me ask you this: Do you think a original copy of Doom? The 1.2 uh, version in the box is worth 250 bucks. What? Um, no. The first Doom? No. You don't think so? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, I nope. guess that's the answer I was looking for. Here's a question in chat. Will monitors on Citadel Station have MDOS interface, etc.? Hmm. Um, I don't have an answer for that. Oh. How about you, Steve? Do you have an answer for that? Okay, somebody, See, messed, somebody brought the doors. Off. Sorry. Lots of voices. Sorry, somebody brought the doors and I just thought I'd randomly complain about it. <laughs> I broke the doors. 
You'll see in a minute when the stream catches up. Oh, I see the door problem now, I think. <laughs> You know, after this stream, when I have to get up and do some stuff outside of my room, I'm not even sure I can leave my room. I might have to climb through the window because all the floors are being redone on the first floor of this house, except for my room. <laughs> That'll be quite a sight. So I don't know if I can even leave this room. Why are you climbing out of the window? There are no floors. I have no floors. We're playing the floors lava. I have no floors and I must get downstairs somehow. <laughs> and I don't know where my cat is because he got scared and ran away. I'm assuming he's either hiding in the garage, the neighbor's yard, or underneath one of the cars. Okay. This morning, uh, when I was driving to get breakfast, I saw a cat on the side of one of the roads eating from a bowl, and it had cat food in it. It was <laughs> just hanging out. Wow. Yeah, he was cool. There is a story behind that. Yeah. I wanted to go meet him, but I was in a rush. Hmm. I know yeah are you are you the kind of person who would um like if you, if they see a cat just kind of walking like if you're walking by somebody's garden and you just see a cat there, will you go up and say hello to it or will you just leave it alone? Uh, I guess it depends. Like, if the cat seems like he's going to bolt, I'll just leave him alone because some cats don't want to be approached. But if he seems friendly, I'll come up. Mm. Um, I, I sometimes say hi to neighborhood cats, but some of them are meaner. Hmm. There used to be, where I used to live, this buff cat who would walk around, and he would, like, growl like he was mad at you, but he would insist on you petting him. <laughs> I'm angry, so I, pet me! <laughs> he was so ripped. Like, if cats had, like, an 8-pack, he probably had an 8-pack. <laughs> His arms were so swole. Yeah, just making slow work of this. Just uh, someone's got to put the doors in. Somebody gotta. 
But that's not the door I think it is. I did just see from the uh, SVN log though that uh, we have. So I mentioned the service access service access doors don't didn't have a actual physical button that you could press on it. I think one just got added, so I should be able to just. Hopefully I can pull without everything breaking. Uh, Dark Shadow Rage says, uh, hi. Hi. I'm hoping things don't break. Oh my goodness, there's only... No, oh, no. No. Pfft, fine. So I just realized there's only 20 minutes uh, left of the stream. It's true, I was just about to say that. Mm. So if anyone has questions or whatevs, uh, feel free to ask while we have time. There we go. <coughs> I wonder if I should go to the gym. I'll say yes. But I'm only going to say yes because I went to the gym today and... Yeah. I'm gonna gonna I encourage it. <laughs> I haven't been to the gym in like a week and a half, almost two weeks, because I was on a trip and then I got sick and I'm kinda still sick, but I'm mostly better, so I feel like I should. Like work out a bit and then get food. Okay, let's find that new service access door. Have to find it first. It is Blast Door Bulkhead Force. Uh, here's a question for Steve. Yeah. Please. Any plans on doing a Q&A stream? Oh, like a regular Friday stream with me? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure. Probably after the alpha will be a good time to kind of get back on track with that. Um, I know that uh, with like pretty much all hands on deck with getting this stuff done as is. I haven't done any of the character work um, since the last stream that I did because I just didn't want to um, sidetrack any of the team into getting any of that stuff in um, just because it's not priority. Um, but yeah, I'd like to start that again. I technically had you on schedule just in case. Yeah, um, I I may be able to do this Friday. Um, I'll have to you double play check. Games. <laughs> Start my Steam list. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's see. Just for fun, let's see what the first game would be if I were to do such a ridiculous thing. And it has to be a game you haven't played. The first game in the list that you haven't played. Is why don't you load up Steam Roulette? Oh, oh yeah, I've heard of that. Steam Roulette. Yeah, you 
you sign in through a website with your account uh, and uh, it looks through your Steam library and picks a random game for you to play. Random game picker. Steamtools.net. Is this officially sanctioned? Officially sanctioned game? Roll. Uh, oh, please at least single player, blah, blah, blah. Uh huh. It's probably gonna be like System Shock Two. I bet you anything. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That'd be funny. The knowing knowing your look, it will be because you tend to win raffles when you enter. So. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sketchy. Sketchy. Mm. Yeah, I am. I wouldn't trust me. <laughs> custom ID is not supported yet. Oh, so I can't add in my. I have a custom Steam ID. Uh, I don't know how to get the number. Hold on. It's a lot of work for this. You gotta put in the effort. I'm not sure <laughs> if I can get my ID anymore because I have a custom ID. How did you get a custom ID? You can put one in, a custom URL. Oh. For your Steam profile? Oh. Um, I don't think it wants that. I think it wants your... Uh, there is a way to find it, but I'm not sure how. But there's like Every account is a unique number. Right. Um, but I have no idea how you access that. Not right now. Maybe I can view the page source and go Hacker Man. <laughs> oh, Hacker Man, huh? <sighs> oh boy. This might be too hackery. Oh god. Oh. No. No. Hmm. I could just close my eyes. Let's do that. <laughs> How about this? Yeah. But there's so many games. Oh my god. All right. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. Dun, 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 Ooh, dun. A game called Dropsy. Uh, oh Dropsy. God. Oh god. Dropsy the clown. Yep. Oh. Wow. Okay. okay, I'm gonna send a link <laughs> to the door page so everybody can see how horrible it looks. <laughs> hey, Drop but it's overwhelmingly positive reviews. Yeah, no, I'm not uh, laughing because it's bad. I'm not laughing because it's bad. I'm laughing because it's <laughs> creep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Creepy clown. And Ooh. yeah. All right, I guess that's what you're playing on Friday. Oh God. Drop C. <laughs> they want to know why you have such a game. Why I have that game? Yeah. I think because it got good reviews. I was interested. It was point and click. I just never got around to playing it. That's my excuse. Alright, so we got about 10 minutes left. Time has just flown by. It really has. It usually does during this.
But hey, it's good fun. So. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm thinking back to our Halloween conversation now. Um, I got two new items for my wardrobe. My just... They're, they're very Halloween-y, but it's just fun. I got a black beret from this one Lolita brand called Angelic Pretty. And it has, it's black, and it has um, bat wings on it. Mm. And then I also got a backpack that also converts into a purse that is a, a coffin with bat wings. <laughs> nice. They're very cute. Very good. Steve, there's a question for you. Oh. Well, actually, for everyone in general, but mostly for you. It says, um, what do you hope to achieve with the remake besides introducing System Shock to a new generation? Um, the, the thing that I want to achieve more than anything is just to make a really good game. Um, I know that there's a lot of people that haven't played the original and this will be their first introduction to the series, and that's really important. But the, you know, the most important thing is that they have a good time doing it, and that the people that are familiar with it um, also have fun with it. Um, so it's like it's always been this careful question and this careful balance between wanting to add new stuff and wanting to keep it kind of uh, very pure to the original experience as well. And so um, I think that's probably been the most difficult part about this whole thing is just deciding these little things that you know, could have um, consequences uh, with our original audience and, and counter consequences with people who have never experienced it before. Um, so, I mean, our first and foremost, like I said, our, our goal is to just make a really great game. And I'm, we're on track for that. Um, it's already shaping up really nicely and um, it's coming together really quickly and the quality level is of a standard that uh, we all agree and believe to be uh, the highest that we can that we can give it so um, yeah long long answer for a short question but uh, our, our the thing that we want to achieve is just to create something that's fun that's memorable Is that doing that? There. People are doing their roulette thing in chat. <laughs> um, Wolfenbach got 3D Mark, and <laughs> third player got Doom 4. <laughs> 3D Mark, nice. I'm going to try the Steam Roulette.
Which one did you use? Because I'm seeing multiple. Um, are you asking me? Yeah. I can't remember. I think it's just. I think it is literally just called Steam Roulette. Huh. O o others I don't know about. It might have gone offline. It was a while since I last looked at that. Well, that's all the doors in maintenance taken care of. Oh. Missed one. Alright, we have about two minutes. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm not being very talkative, but uh, just trying to get things as much as I can done. Yeah, any final questions from you guys before we sort of slowly begin to wrap up? Uh, this was a question that I have I got before, I think, on Twitter. Mm. Uh, they were curious if NDS acquired the rights to the Dark Engine when it acquired the IP to SS. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't believe that the Dark Engine was ever licensed. Um back in the day like I don't think anybody used it besides looking glass um, and so I'm not sure that it was ever defined as like a product that would be or that could be passed or sold somewhere else like the name was never trademarked I'm, the engine may, ne may never have been copyrighted um so I wouldn't say that we got the rights to the dark engine, but because we have the rights to the game that uses the dark engine, we can use it in that respect. That sounds about right. Yeah. Legal things are complicated. They certainly are. Sleepy. That's all I gotta say. Ooh, it says Matt has hooked up level security message to the cameras. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. When you right click on him, the, ca the camera just disappears. It says camera destroyed, and then it says security is now so and so percent. Ooh, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> Oh, and he's got the original hardware icon, the original game. Oh, cool. Did and he... they update when you pick up the hardware. Did he commit that to the uh, repo, or is that just something he's done for now? Um, This was, he posted about it at 3.20, so it was like 40 minutes ago. He might, it might be uh, in there. You could just ping him and just ask. I'll go to a level that has one. Uh. 
Sir Kane asked a question a couple minutes ago. I'd have to scroll up and see because I did not see it. Will doors crush the player and or enemies standing below the door when it closes? Um, no. I don't think so. Because they, they detect uh, like player movement and uh, probably enemy movement as well. Can you go back in? That looked really good. Can you go back in there, Daniel? Into the uh, engine? Oops. Um... <laughs> Where I am now? You know, just in the uh, the lit, the yeah, like the with the lights. Oh, here. It w it will take a while to catch up. I'm like two minutes oh. behind, so. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I just want to see it with all the pretty lights and the fog and the. Mm. It's just so nice. Sinbad Steam. This, the reason I asked about it is because the source code was leaked online a few years back. There was an article on some gaming site about it. Are you talking about the source code to System Shock 2 or the Dark Engine itself? Uh, I remember that article. Uh, it was Dark Engine. Is that the the whole deal with the uh, it was found on a Dreamcast disc? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, because that like so. apparently included the code to uh, Thief and System Shock 2, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there have been developer interviews in the past saying you could you could build two executables from one batch of code because they were it was the same engine. It was practically the same game, just with a different kind of skin. <laughs> Almost. That's it, funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that we do have all that um, in our in our Scrooge McDuck vault. <laughs> mm. We 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 were man we managed to, to track it all down somehow. Yup. Yeah. I must say, it's looking very good right now. Well, Are you still remember. waiting on word from Matt? Oh, I didn't ping him. Oh, I thought Daniel did. Uh, no. Um, we might not have time because we're supposed to be closing up soon. So. Yeah. We'll probably show uh, it next time. Has this been committed? Let me ask. Do 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 do. <laughs> Well, I couldn't get it to happen, so I'm going to assume no. <laughs> that ring of light. Well, we're past our two-hour runtime. Any last things you want to show or talk about? Um, I showed everything. I I probably showed a bit too much, to be honest. But um, I showed everything I wanted to show earlier on. The level stream in the uh, um, cameras now work and look at the player. So, um... Yeah, I don't really have anything else to show. So, uh, yeah, shall we wrap it up there then? I guess so. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks very much, guys, for coming and hanging out with us today. Um, it's been a, been a lot of fun. As you can see, we're making great progress on everything. It's kind of hard to um, kind of just realize, like, all this was just... It didn't exist like four months ago. Like, the block out. It was all me, me just going through and grey boxing it all out and getting, you know, 
getting all that done and now look at it it looks amazing but uh, we're not there yet we've got a fair ways to go so yep as always thanks guys for watching um, the next time will be um, October 1st actually so yeah getting into Halloween soon and all that so yeah Thanks very much, guys. See you later. Take care of yourselves. Bye. And each other. Say bye-bye, Steve. Bye-bye. Thanks, everybody. See you, guys. Thanks so much.